Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Bows and Company. I am your host, Emily O, and I'm joined by my co-host for today and company for this week's show. Hello, Mom. Great to see you. Hello, Emily. Happy 2024. Same to you. Thanks for inviting me back. First time we're recording together in 2024. Not the first episode, though. That was two episodes ago, mm-hmm. but uh, starting anew. Last week, we had Bitsy on to kind of recap our Ireland escapades, <laughs> and we're so excited to have you back on the podcast. Thank you. To talk about so many different topics. Um, why don't we kick off the first episode with you in mm-hmm. 2024 with your bows and lows. And before we were recording this and started the show, you know, a lot has happened. So it could be an overwhelming question. Mm-hmm. If you want a little bit more of a broad answer and then maybe break it down to just this week <laughs> to kind of personalize it a little bit. I take like, it away. I like how you're qualifying it. I would say that the broad, big, overarching bow for me was that we had a great trip in Ireland with the six of us and I just have such a victorious feeling that it went well and anyone who plans any vacation knows that there's you know there's a lot of components to it and I feel just grateful and it was so much fun and it was for me a great mix of sightseeing and relaxation and time together so that's the huge bow overarching that is just lasting from last week when we got home yes my smaller bow would probably be that today we went to a house meeting and you and Elizabeth came with us. And I, I am really excited because we picked out the tile and the bathrooms for upstairs. Yes, we did. We attended a designer meeting with you, which was kind of a really fun activity today. It was, you know, it's it's January. It's bleak times. It's <laughs> yes. a rainy, cold day. So mm-hmm. it was fun to go to a creative meeting with you. Mm-hmm. And the house is coming along so well. In fact, uh, we were just dropping off some Emily on Bo's orders and then drove past the house after we dropped those off. And it's just looking so wonderful. I am I think I'm going to go over there on Thursday because there's a walkthrough because I need to share an update with everyone on the socials because a mm-hmm. lot has happened and it's just beautiful. Thanks. I'm really pleased with it. And when I say today that we picked out the tile, we have a great design team. Yes. And they really had just narrowed it down based on what I liked. And so I was making minimal decisions and everything is pretty much white tile, white flooring. And it was very easy, the decisions, but I felt good because they're done. Yes. It's chosen. Another thing to check off the list. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say that my bow for the week would just be yesterday. We had just a lovely planning meeting. And it was our first day, quote unquote, back because obviously we got home on Friday, but really used the weekend to ease into reentry and, you know, the start of the year. But you and I just kind of hit the ground running and had a really productive meeting about Emily on Bows, implementing Mm -hmm. just a new way of organizing my time. And I would say it's time blocking we're doing a bit more. So really going through each day of the week and planning out hour by hour, minute by minute Mm -hmm. and writing it all out and then typing that up to have a daily schedule. And obviously things pop up, but I just think it's going to be great for myself to just Mm -hmm. be able to look at the week and know exactly what I'm doing. And then um, also kind of freeze up so things don't fall so much on the weekend, which not that we, you know, part of being an influencer is you share everything right. but I feel like because of such the busy season of the holidays and even before that I would consider the fall to be yeah. just as busy as the holidays mm-hmm. for influencing and for <laughs> everyone um but things were just kind of landing on the weekend and so I I'm excited about the way that we set it up because everything will still get done but it'll allow me to have a little bit more of a work week and then the weekends can be left to is that our groceries? We have a grocery delivery. <laughs> I honestly love those moments in the podcast because they're so <laughs> us, you know, ding dong. Such a real thing. The groceries did just get delivered. Um, what was I saying? I lost my train of thought. You were oh, talking I'm about I'm just excited having... about the new systems that are mm-hmm. in place. And I'm proud of us for sitting down and really taking a hard look at what works and what doesn't and making those adjustments. And I'm I'm excited about the goals that we have for mm-hmm. Emily Allen Bowes for 2024 and for seeing how these adjustments might help over the next few weeks and months. So those are, that's my bow. I have a lot that I want to say more about the scheduling, but we're going to pause it for a second because it's raining and I am going to get the groceries. While you do that, I'll talk about my low. Oh, okay. That sounds good. I'll be right back. What is my low? Some would say. <laughs> I don't even know what my... I would say that... Oh, I know what my low is. I was thinking about this today when I was getting ready. I feel like we have hit that point in the winter where I have reached a 
level of paleness that I didn't realize was possible. And I'm sure we all know that feeling where even a first layer of self tanner will not fix this issue. So I can definitely feel, you know, we are in the thick of winter, even though the weather outside is not necessarily like we're not getting snow. I, I saw that it was snowing in Wisconsin and other parts of the Midwest. We're getting rain and it's not even super cold. I just feel dry. And, um, you know, I think that a layer of self tanner would help everybody involved. So I was just saying that I felt this morning particularly very, very, very pale, more so than I have in a long time. And I, I think that that would be my low. Oh, she's oh, back. I'm back. Okay, that is, I could see that as a low. I think that recognizing that it is January and it affects you this way. But I did see uh, somebody on, a girl on TikTok posted a video, which really resonated with me, <laughs> um, that some, you know, in most years she would try to fight the winter and get out there mm. and try and do things and keep things, you know, as if it was the middle of summer, but she said mm. that she's really accepting the winter and the hibernation mode and coming home early and making a soup and reading and going to bed early. So I think when you just fall into it, right? I just watched this video yesterday, but I've already kind of had that mindset for today and it's helped a lot. I don't, I don't mind it. I, uh, I have a lot of things to say. I'm going to add another, we're going to go back to this, but another bow for me is that today I ordered groceries. Oh, it yes. just got delivered. I don't do it all the time. But it was pouring rain, like sideways rain. <laughs> and uh, we had a big day with the designer. And I knew we were going to be doing that. And then we're going to, you're going to film a mocktail yes. recipe. And I just knew I couldn't get to the grocery store. So this is also a bow for me that the groceries from our local grocery store were just delivered. Absolutely. And really any food delivery service is and always maybe a bow. Th that's something to embrace in the winter is to treat yourself like that's a treat for me to have the groceries delivered so that's another little bow but let's go back to that person that you were talking about I do not really mind January yeah yeah you've always been an advocate for January I really don't mind it I it gets really just difficult I think March and April when we start to see you know if we're still seeing snow mm -hmm. we really haven't seen much snow but I have a list of projects that I think need to be done in January and so I kind of am happy that it's here what are those projects well one is the house oh. okay <laughs> number two yes Number two is my photo albums. I needed to, I need to update them and I haven't done it in a year or two. And really, I just need to bring some closure to Elizabeth's because I did both of yours. I updated them to like senior year in high school. And then mm -hmm. after that, you're on your own. Mm -hmm. And Elizabeth, there were just some lingering things that I want to just put away. Okay. And I, there's just a little pile of stuff. So it's nothing major, but it's just like looming over my head as something I'd like to do. We also started over COVID writing a book. Oh, yes. And we, Grammy, my mom and you and me and the girls all helped. And really the three of us did the majority of it. And I have not been able to get it finished. Yes. I just think with the lake house and the wedding, there are all these little things that have come up. And so I am going to black out some time with Elizabeth at home and I'm going to finish it. That's great to hear. I'm very I, don't I sound very forceful about very this? Forceful. I am going to finish it because I we got so far it's just it's just not that so if there's something like that I think that January is a great time to get those kind of things finished it is I think that it's also a great time you know any I would love to get my closet cleaned out this weekend in fact what I'm right. hoping is with the new systems that we've implemented with Emily Owen Bose then like over the weekend, I'll have a big chunk of time that mm -hmm. would be used for something like a house project. I would love to clean out my closet and feel a little bit more organized in that sense. That's a good thing. Um, let's also talk about the system that we're implementing because I love systems. System <laughs> girly over here. Guilty. Yes. And anyone that knows me knows that I like the logistics of things. I like the system. I like being organized. And I think that what we did the other day Yesterday. Yesterday. It, it was like brewing in our heads and we were thinking about it for a while, but it worked very well because oftentimes someone can give you a system. Like I could say, this is how I think you should do it. And, and it doesn't work unless you make it your own. Yes. And I think what we did yesterday was good. You actually wrote out and we discussed the week and sometimes putting all the time, I think putting that extra energy work time into the planning even though it seemed like yesterday morning 
okay, maybe we're spending too much time discussing this in the long run. Mm -hmm. It's just like training somebody to do something. In the long run, it's worth it. Oh, absolutely. And I like, it's it's our own little system that we made up. You kind of hand wrote, which I also thought was good because I think by hand writing it, which is your favorite thing to do, you are then kind of committing it to memory or it's just like when you write down your goals, which we always do. We write down our goals for the year. By putting it in writing, I yes. think that it makes it happen it a little bit it. more. Yeah, it resonates That's the word. a lot more I couldn't more think of me. the word. I got it. Yeah. No, I agree with you. It, it, it kind of absorbs in your skin a bit more than if you just type it up. Right. And then I also said to you, what format? Because you can also type this up or whatever, but you love lists. I do like lists. In fact, did we talk about this before? I I've actually have. gone to someone to learn how I learn. Yes. And I, that is with lists. So mm -hmm. I've known that about myself for years, which is really helpful. And it always proves to be effective with me. I love a long list, even if it's a list of the whole week and I just break it up day by, well, that's basically what you just said. But yeah, continue. So I think that if you are trying to embark, I don't know how we're getting on this topic, but I, it's just because it's fresh from yesterday. Yes. And if you are trying to embark on a new project, really think about how you like to implement something because you're not going to stick with it unless it's catered to the way you learn the best or the way that you execute things. You did a great job and then typing it up and we made it like a checkbox. So we basically have Monday through Friday mm -hmm. and you divide it up, like you said, time blocking. You know, Monday is a great day for editing. I think it's with trial and error and it's um, determining what, like you said, works the best for you. And sometimes when you get a planner, there can be a system in place, but I'm excited. I am too. And day one went well yesterday. Day one went well. Day two is going well. We'll definitely keep you updated with how the mm -hmm. new system. And really, I think I was sharing this yesterday on my stories. And some people were like, oh, could you talk about what the system is? It, it is essentially just time blocking. So mm. making a, we made a list of everything that I typically do throughout a week. And then we just plug those in day by day, dedicated certain days to certain tasks, mornings, afternoons, um, and filling in with what needed to be done. And then, you know, for example, Tuesdays are going to be filming days and shooting days. So making sure I work backwards and, you know, have the outfits ready or I'm ready to go. Um, so that's, that's what the system is. It's really it, nothing high level, but it isn't it's just anything time blocking. high level, but I do think it always is helpful to share. Yes. Cause I do know did. that people like specifics about, oh, you I know, do. exactly how somebody, so really just write out even if you don't have a planner or just go on word and make your own little schedule and just take it from whenever you wake up to when you feel like you're going to be done with work and fill in everything with that and just do it for a week and see how it works and I'm sure a bunch of people listening to this already do it but with mm -hmm. running my own business and like you said us being partners and not really having a boss you have to just maximize the time but also I think this will allow me to have a bit more of a weekend right and free time and I'm not saying like oh my gosh I need more free time free time to actually go do things that produce content that's well, the whole that was kind of what I was yes. trying one of my frustrations is that I feel like I was getting bogged down by a lot of admin work or clerical work which still got worked into the schedule but it didn't leave time for creative activities or or opportunities to go get really good content and that's kind of how this schedule was right come to fruition I can never say that word no you said it really well no that is the best thing and I because I hate when influencers are like, oh my gosh, I don't like, but it's not about that. It's about, okay, let's actually have enough free time so we can go and go to a cool place and take pictures or go right. do activities on the weekend that I can share with my followers that are really like fun and oriented yeah. around, you know, an activity. I so. mean, it's just like anyone's job. You had to schedule and it was a new year and just a little reboot, which is common no matter who you are, or what you're doing. Yes. But it is kind of fun to share how we did it. We have a nice binder. You know what? And sometimes paper products are the best place to start. It is. And Laura, you and me all have the same binder. We have matching binders. Yes, we do. From Target. Yes. And I love a good binder. And they It's have, white with gold polka dots. Yes. Maybe I'll see if they still have it. And we have cute dividers. And for me, that is always something you, you need to enjoy whatever your planner is. You know, everything is so much on the laptop. But here at Emily Owen Bowes... <laughs> 
not when we sit we like great paper products we which do. you know we do we do and we use our emily own bows pens when we have our meetings and i make my lists predominantly on my in good company the long notepad mm-hmm. i know it's my own product but it really <laughs> is the best pe- long notepad that i've ever used for lists because i can fit a whole a bunch of you know yes. writing on it and i just tear the paper off sometimes and that's my list for the day right pens are did you just say that yes okay pens are I love those pens a wonderful addition to <laughs> right. any type of system that you need to yes. implement yes and right now we still kind of work we have calendar that laura you and me we all work on for the mood boards how we're planning it but we have a new addition that maybe came today from amazon and we have colored a colored pen yes Yes, a colored pen. It's with four different colors. Which I used to love as a kid. Absolutely. Who didn't? Right. But we're going to try that out tomorrow. Just a little fun new thing for our meeting. And what is that noise? What is that noise? That's why I paused before. I, Excuse me. Is that the dishwasher? Hmm. I think it might be. Oh my. I don't think they can hear this. It does it periodically. Okay, we're fine. We're just running a load of dishes. Um, <laughs> but know, we do try have a household. <laughs> we we do have a new pen. We do have a new pen. That's what we were saying. We needed colored pens, and we decided to get the one. And if you watch Suits, I noticed that Donna uses it. Oh, and, really? Uh, yes. I did not and know that. It was one of my favorite pens as a kid. It's just that Bic one, and it's got three or four colors, and you change it. And we're going to try that for just a little something fun tomorrow. Yes. I. So just to review, yeah. I have a daily schedule that's printed out that goes in the binder. I have an agenda that is actually from Sophia Lee. She has a planner dedicated to bloggers. Mm-hmm. I also have been using my In Good Company list, notepad, sorry, to make lists. And then we have a monthly agenda that Laura, you and I work on for mood boards, brand deals, et cetera, ideas. And then I also have a list with action steps that need to be taken care of right away. So that is our system. <laughs> Not sure how many people who are listening to this who are in a blogging situation, but you know, the more lists and notes that you can make, I feel like can only help you. And we debated, you know, I, my personal life, everything is on my Apple. Yes. iCal. But We decided that we weren't going to do a Google, a shared Google calendar at this point, because I think we're usually brainstorming and we are writing it. We are heavy on the written word. And Mm -hmm. I I just know our team and our group, there's, I I would put everything into the Google calendar. I've tried using Google calendar before. I think it is a wonderful platform, (laughs) but I just know how I work. I look, I work better and more productively with a handwritten list that I can cross off. Mm-hmm. I like to cross things off. I like to check things off. I like to rip sheets of paper off and throw them away. Like yes. it's just a very satisfying way to feel accomplished. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. but if you like the Google calendar, like seeing that, I mean, everyone knows how to make, everyone knows how to organize their life. This is just what we're doing. Well, I don't, it's not even that people don't, but it's always good to hear. I love to hear what other people, how I they're agree. organizing things. And Mostly I'm proud of this because it's what worked for you. Also, timing yourself to do things Mm -hmm. is another thing that, I don't know, maybe it's not (laughs) talked about enough, but sometimes just setting a timer to complete a task or if you don't know why things are seeming to take a long time or where did all the time go, time yourself and see how long things take and then mm-hmm. work backwards. Like, okay, you this takes way longer, but this is shorter. And then you can kind of plug that into, I don't know. Because sometimes I like, I'm like, oh my gosh, why are my, you know, Instagram stories taking so long? And then I timed myself. I did this on vacation and right. I looked at how long it took. And then I either found a way to like do it quicker or just recognize that I need more time. Yeah. But those are great (laughs) analytics because then otherwise I think you're setting yourself up for failure. Right. When you're time blocking or you're making your schedule, you know, I said, how long on Monday do you want to work like nine to noon on editing? And you're like, okay, I think that's good. And then we decided realistically to edit a vlog Mm -hmm. takes five or six hours it depending on how the length of it but mm-hmm. yes if it's over a 30 minute vlog right so if you just gave yourself the morning right you would be setting yourself up for failure so I think being aware and even you said that you're going to kind of keep track a little bit more on certain things because 
otherwise you're just frustrated. Like, why did that take me so long? Right. And also just like removing distractions, I think plays into this as well. Mm -hmm. Being on social media and having that be the platform where, you know, I'm running my business can also lead to just by opening the app to go and do something right on your task list. You are bombarded with 17 other things that you sometimes miss the point of what you were doing. Mm -hmm. So removing unnecessary distractions and that can be applied to whatever your profession is. And you might not even realize it. And I think that that was happening to me sometimes. Right. Is there were things popping up that were not helping me work Mm -hmm. towards the bigger cause. It is crazy how 10 minutes doing, you know, uh, exercise can seem like four hours. Yes. But 10 minutes on looking through your phone I know seems like 30 seconds yes no I I couldn't agree with you more yeah Yeah. just putting in those barriers to help yourself be just staying off your phone at night that's another big thing of mine Well, I think you're you're starting to do that yes because I'm like oh I'll just you know finish this up and then suddenly you're down a rabbit hole Right. And it's, I think kids my age especially well any age but really I think it's any age do you think so oh I do okay I I thought it was I was just like a no I mean you have had it longer well you were younger when you got the phones and everything but I think it's everyone I think people are snuggling into bed with their phones you should not be snuggling into bed with your phones every single night right write it down write it down because it <laughs> is such like a fun thing with to phones. do it is you know and you go and check on your people and I mean definitely go on your phones and check out my stuff that's not what we're saying I'm right. all, always for <laughs> you know and, and and snuggle into your bed also right. those are two separate but things, I think but. at bedtime like doing it for a little bit is fine I don't know it I just is, think- it is a, it is really fun to lay in bed and look at everything but I think that it's not depending on who you are and in your case I think it's better to shut it off mm. and read, write in a journal. Yeah, just say shut a it prayer, off. like just meditate. After a certain time, whatever needs to be seen can be looked at in the morning. Well, and it's like anything else in life. Everything in moderation. Yes, and I've also found myself, like right when I wake up, not checking things. I mean, we're talking like I come down, have a glass of water, make my coffee and sit down. And then I look at it. But that like moment when you wake up. Right. It's just, it's not... It, it's not the way that I want to start my day. And it's nothing needs to be immediately taken care of at, you know, seven o'clock in the morning. That can't wait till seven fifteen. So in your case, in your field, that is true. Doctors. Obviously. I OK, everyone right. knows that what I'm talking about is related to me. Right. If you are in a profession yes. where people's lives are at stake, please check your phone. Right. We need you on your phone. No, they know that I'm talking yes. relative yes. matters to social media, you know, just <laughs> totally protecting your peace. But don't protect your peace if you yes. need to get... <laughs> Right. All the people. I correct. Correct. I am not in a field that is a life or death. Urgent. Matter. Urgent. No. Right. No. But I'll, I do think that. I'll still it, get you the links in a very yes. timely manner. Yes. <laughs> but I'm excited for this new system. I am. I'm very excited. And I think it's also great to talk about it because. Well, and even little things now. We're a little bit more. I mean, we're always pretty organized and it is fun because in your field, things can come up. We could let's go do this. Like a spur of the moment is great. But, you know, you have to get links for everything. Yes. Which also takes a lot of time. So knowing ahead of time, because oftentimes I help you with the links and you might be ready to post something and I'm out the door or whatever. Right. So we, it's just being in sync a little bit more. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, overall, I think it's just a really great learning experience and it is when you zoom out for a second, fun to see like, you know, cause we're in a little bit of an uncharted um, industry. Yeah. And so coming up with a system to work for, and this is just like anyone running their own business. It's like, wow. Okay. We set this up. This seems to be running smoothly and that's great. That's it is good. And it's also interesting because we use dad for a lot of help. Oh, on, sure. Absolutely. On systems that he has in place with his team of people. Claire is kind of good with it as of course she's good with it. So it's always, and that was fun on our trip, just hearing different, I don't know, tactics or, or things that people use brainstorming. in their work environment. Brainstorming. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I couldn't agree with you more. And I think if you have the opportunity to learn how you learn, it could be very valuable for years to come because mm-hmm. then sometimes you're running around this thing of like, oh, why isn't this working? It, this worked for her, but it's not for me. Well, it's because we're all different (laughs) we are all different (laughs) ladies and gentlemen and we you know what works for me might not work for other people like putting a thousand reminders or you know really just like honing in as specific as possible for mm -hmm. me 
is what works best. But if somebody's like, hey, these are the five things I need to do today and they just bang them out. Right. I mean, you're somebody who just moves. I can even take you as a great example. You move at top speed at everything you do. Oh, I see. And I even look at you sometimes and I'm like, we could be given the same task, but mm. how we approach it is so different. Right. And, you know, it's a great way to learn is because you do get things like you just move so quickly at mm. everything you do. You get ready quickly. You can do the laundry quickly. <laughs> you cook a meal quickly. You talk fast. Like, mm-hmm. um, you drive fast. No, I'm no. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. that was a joke. I just walked right into that one. So I just always admire that because you work very efficiently. Hmm. And thanks. I think that without even realizing it, no, you do realizing it. You have very amazing time management skills. Thank you. Where I tend to stew, mm-hmm. you know, and I'm like, wait a minute, let's just. But just boom, boom, boom. Which is why I think it was good for you to come up instead of, because oftentimes I can say, okay, this is what I think we should do. Right. And before how things were working, no, there was nothing wrong with it. There was nothing wrong with it. We were also working during a busier time of the year, of the retail calendar year. So it was a little bit more of like a fire drill, just like getting that content out and trying to. Well, and to our credit, which I think is common with everyone, it's trial and error. Like we've tried different things. We've tried smart sheets before we've tried, we've, we've implemented different things. And I think the big thing was just time management and being on the same page with stuff just so that we can be even more efficient. Right. Absolutely. Yes. And bring great content. And men men bring great content. I think we And talk about the systems as our content. I mean, that's, that's a great thing that we can do. Well, that's true. You know what, how many jobs can actually talk about their job? Right. as their job right that's <laughs> what? true <laughs> what a crazy world we live in <laughs> that's true it is true and um so anyway just wanted to touch upon that just wanted it, to beat that to death and, and that we was did really- um so moving on from our organization and mm-hmm. you know new systems for 2024 right. we are heading on another fun trip next week that kind of popped up we are Can't going wait. to charleston for monday through thursday mm-hmm. so right after this weekend in fact the day that you're listening to this episode, because we're recording it because of the new system way ahead of schedule. Right. Look at that. Already, you know, <laughs> staying on track. But um, we will be in Charleston Monday through Thursday because a really fun opportunity popped up. And uh, we are just jumping on it. And we're going to kind of make this mm-hmm. into a little girl's trip. Elizabeth is still on winter break, which I think we clarified this in the previous episode. But Miami University has a really long winter break. It's called J-term. A lot of kids study abroad or take an extra class. So people are always like, why are you still I mean, it happened when I was at school and right. Claire um you're just home for all of January I so love it. since I'm going to Charleston um we figured you know why not just make this into a fun thing and Elizabeth mm-hmm. is going to come and yourself and we have been trying to obviously this all is a little bit kind of last minute and by the time everyone's listening to this it's kind of we're there but we have been trying to get together a little bit of like a trunk show or like a pop-up shop of mm-hmm. some sort um i'm not 100 percent sure if it's gonna happen right because there's just okay. like one day one afternoon there's, that it could work there's literally one afternoon that we have so we <laughs> did not give a lot of option or leeway with that unfortunately just the way that everything fell mm-hmm. but we are so excited to be back in charleston the last time we were there was my senior year spring break we mm-hmm. went and it's, I'm excited for some sun and for some warm weather. We're going for business, but then we'll have like a day to just it's kind of. It's not going to be that warm though. It's in the fifties. You're kidding. No, I'm so sorry to break that I to was you hoping we on would the just, podcast. Which is creep up to sixties. No, I, th- I looked and it's, I think it's in the fifties. Well, um, that's actually, maybe honestly, the sun will be out. No, though. honestly, it makes packing a bit easier because yeah, it's, it's not, not like going to be that in like full no summer mode. Okay. Right. That's okay. So Patricia, our friend who works in PR, she's a publicist, reached out because one of her clients is having a big photo shoot mm-hmm. for their brand and asked if I wanted to be a part of the photo shoot. And then there's also going to be a dinner with some Charleston influencers. Um, so I'm really excited and that's going to be taking place on Wednesday mm-hmm. no Tuesday. Tuesday so we get there Monday night um and then Wednesday there's like no direct flights out of Cleveland no like there's no way to get there directly so there isn't a flight until Thursday <laughs> so we have an extra day which is also why it's fun that Elizabeth and you are going to be coming because we can just kind of run around Charleston and little girls trip little girls trip absolutely so that is a, a fun thing to look forward to I can't wait I'm so excited and this weekend what do I have um the Browns are going to the playoffs which 
really doesn't affect our lives in any way, shape, or form, but I think it's a big deal. Doing. No, I mean, I mean, I'm so sorry. It, it is, is a, a big huge deal. deal. What a great thing for the I don't, city. I don't and think it is a big, big deal. deal. It is exciting for Cleveland. I'm just saying, for me personally, I don't think I realize how big of a deal it is. But for some people who care, it is a life-changing moment. Well, and I don't get any of the information correct. It was a big deal that they got the 430, 425 kickoff time oh i didn't know this i actually thought that they were then it was exciting because they were playing in cleveland they're not no they're in houston i they're thought they're gonna houston. be in cleveland too <laughs> i thought that all i'm i didn't i missed it's like there isn't a part of my brain that retains a lot of sporting information because i don't particularly care no you have bigger things to do if i i could retain it if i were interested in it and i'm not i wish i were more interested in it I'm not interested in either. There was a time I went to IU. I went to Indiana University and I did love college basketball. I still could get it. I could get on board with college basketball. I love high school football games, mostly because it's just like makes me happy for high schoolers to be walking around. There's yes, something to do. Cute. It doesn't have so much to do with the sport. I just like that. I think it's a great activity. The Any social school, opportunity for it is great. Yes. But I, it's really lost on me. I, I wish that I enjoyed it more. Well, here's the thing. I've noticed that when I'm at the sporting event, I have a great time. You know, oh, I have a hot dog. Sure. I got my Diet Coke. Everyone's cheering. I have yes. a cute outfit on. That's so great. I have I have the best time while I'm there. And then the moment I go home, I don't think about it again. No, that's <laughs> what I mean. Like, I don't mind it. I, it's fun. And I, I really like a hot dog at oh. a sporting event. Which, who doesn't? Yes. I mean, that's the only time I have it. So it's not very often. But I am excited for... The Browns. I'm excited for Cleveland. Yes. It's very exciting. Very exciting. Yes. So that is happening this weekend, as it seems. And Not in Cleveland, in Houston, but in we're Houston. gonna be celebrating it here with Yeah, everyone some there's watch yeah. parties, people are going wherever I am probably gonna watch it from my couch. It'll oh. be on. I may needlepoint while it's on. <laughs> while it's on of course you will <laughs> and we would want nothing more than yeah. for you to needlepoint I have not been needlepointing the last you know since the fall so I that's another January thing it's a not that project. anyone was asking but I have my needlepoint projects that if you've been listening you know we bought last year and I have finished some of them and I'm gonna continue to needlepoint yes I wanted to talk a little bit more about the house and the oh, progression of that. I know we touched upon right. in the beginning of this podcast, but the little carriage house has gone up. I can't stop thinking about it. And you shouldn't try to stop thinking about no. it because it's a wonderful addition to the home. And I think I've almost caused car accidents in front of our house because I try and drive by and just stare at it. It's so cute. It's precious. I mean, I think it's cute. Well, of course very biased over here the two of us and I should explain why we have it because I think some well I know that neighbors wonder what it is but the way our house is it's on this tricky little piece of property and we needed a retain we have a retaining wall of sorts in the back of our house but our architect who is just wonderful we've talked about him before Tom, Tom he d came up with this brilliant idea to have a single car garage that acts also as a retaining wall but from the street the way he designed it it's you know the driveway goes up to it and you see it but he made the little front door to this garage facing the street and there are two windows on either side and then above the door is a little tiny roof and it's <laughs> so cute it's like a little playhouse and I it have, is and even dad was like that is darling well and, i was saying today in the designing meeting like for the holidays you could put a little wreath on it yes. you could string lights you know on the yes, the that's border of so the roof cute i know and somebody was like oh is that a shed okay <laughs> no it's not a shed ma'am no <laughs> it's bigger than a shed it's a one car garage that acts as a retaining wall it's a brilliant architectural move for our property for our house and because there's two other there's a two car attached yeah. garage and I really wanted, if it was possible, to have a three-car garage. And it doesn't, the way that it works and the way I wanted the driveway to go around the back, I wanted the garage in the back of the house. Mm -hmm. And in doing so, it eliminated the opportunity to have a three-car garage all together. And then he came up with this idea. So the third car could go right there and then it's retaining. And it's so cute. It's so cute that we, once we saw it, like live in person not just the the plans we're gonna put a little bit of heat and air conditioning in it I don't know why and it's but my home <laughs> it's not where I live <laughs> it's precious and it 
mostly went up the construction of it when we were away in Ireland. So it was really fun to come back and see mm -hmm. the final product. I mean, obviously there's still a lot of work to be done, but a sweet, sweet addition to the property. I love it. And overall, the home is just moving so well. And like I said earlier, we're doing a walkthrough on Thursday. So I'm excited to see the progression of it. It really won't be done until next fall. No, I, I'm sorry. You not made, to mislead anyone. It sound like, yeah. It's I just, not no, no, no. We still have a long <laughs> way to go, but I feel like... Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, you know, in like waves of things, I feel like we just had a wave of a lot of things happening. Yes. I was I, just all I was going to say. Right. I wish it was done like next week. That was just kind of a little update on the mm -hmm. literal home front yeah. um, because right. I know that there was questions coming into it. And like I said, a big wave of things, of exciting things getting done. I think that's Elizabeth or is that our father? I think it's Elizabeth. She was getting her hair cut. Yes. If anyone cares. She just got a little she's trim, yes. trim, trim. So that's wonderful. But at the oh wait house. no I think it's dad oh it is dad oh it's, oh, Elizabeth. it's Elizabeth sorry you just seem so heavy footed <laughs> <laughs> but the house is just really moving along at a great speed I'm I'm happy with the choices anyone who's done any kind of redecorating project you you do question was that a good idea and so far I'm feeling great about everything oh yeah I never question your decisions because you're usually always right well but I could see how other people would question their that's decisions. so great yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's true. I sometimes I do think it's going to be interesting because it's a brick house. Makes you want to sing that song, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> yes. And we are going to lime wash it uh -huh. or like the simpler version is it's going to be white brick. It is when going it's to be done. white brick. And I would love to put a notice up on the fence outside the house like, hello, everyone. It's actually going to be white because I... For some reason, just I'm worried because they're all going to see this brick. And then I think that it could send people into a tailspin yeah, that, I'm, their minds. that I'm painting it white. I it's think it's gonna a be fabulous idea because it's going to be a gorgeous white brick home. But the only thing I'm going to say upon this, because it's not my project, not my place, the boldness that people, mm -hmm. it's not your house. And no. I am, you know, sometimes you're like, oh, it's just social media. People are hiding behind a screen. No. <laughs> people have a lot to share they and that's do. all I'm gonna leave at that because wow I mean I'm like your biggest defender I will go to the ends of the earth too I just think you're wonderful <laughs> um, <laughs> but like especially you of course you're gonna make a final product that's just magnificent well you are biased but I obviously I'm biased right. but I'm also not wrong <laughs> but my our my goal and the whole team's goal is to and we are executing it it's a home that looks like it's always been there right exactly and that was another thing that was brought up today in the meeting which we've always that's been one of the many mission statements of this project but good to reiterate again and it does look like it's been because it on our street which is only a few streets away from where we're currently sitting mo all of the houses are older and when a new house goes up, hot take, you can really tell. It looks like a new build, which is nothing wrong with that. But we wanted, you know, this is mm -hmm. the style of our life. It's just yeah. timeless classic. Um, hey, girl. Uh, <laughs> Elizabeth's like, wow, she is spewing some hot takes she right is. now. Like, what's, what's always going great on? is there's the ability to edit, which is right. what we all always have to remember is That's that I true. can take things out. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's January. You might as well stir up some. <laughs> we have nothing else to do. It's dark. It's cold. <laughs> it's literally pitch black out right yeah. now. It's so early, too. No, all I was wanting to say is that it's going to be beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. And our one of our neighbors is just, just spectacular. She really is. Her and her husband, they have a wonderful family. We've gotten to, I've gotten to know her just a teeny bit from this. And she is so positive, so kind, and I can't say enough great things about her. And I'm excited to have her as a neighbor because she is just glass is half full. full. She brings over cookies to the people who are working, and she's just the kindest woman ever. She is. And she has been put probably the most inconvenience she has. out of everyone. And, and, and I do cringe. I feel bad that there is construction because it is unsettling to have construction Absolutely. going on and diagonal from us is another home being built so we kind of bottlenecks kind of like, what's happening though. is like on the street it's, it's bottlenecking so there are two massive projects going on so as a neighbor yeah obviously it's a lot super inconvenient and at least it's going on at the same time though actually like, that's a great point yeah like it's i mean it, it's the house across the street from us is like I could see that being a new build at some point like it's but you have two projects at least it's happening at the same time and it could have been like one finished and the other one just got started 
I mean, I think I don't you know. know what you're right. Looking on, l- looking at this again, I think it's better that everything's happening in one fell swoop. And I like the coverage of there's two houses yes. going on. And maybe that's also true because we I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's the other house. Right. Yeah. There was one day I was driving by, and there were people outside. There was a gas line going into our house, and you know they had gas employees from the gas company were blocking traffic and directing and I was going to stop. I'm like, I'm not stopping and getting out and going into the house. I just kept going because there was a lot of traffic. Things were backed up. Absolutely. Yes. And I added to the confusion, but I was not going to get out and go into the house. I'm so sorry. I just wanted to check on my charming, (laughs) um, you know, (laughs) carriage house, but I'll be on my way. You seem a little preoccupied. (laughs) Right. So there's a lot of hustle and bustle going on. For the most part, everyone likes it and enjoys the progress and what's happening there is one of our neighbors lives down the street and he has been oh, taking pictures since the start of the project and he is just a wonderful man a bit of an influencer in his own right he he kind of is yeah and early on in the project I talked to his wife who I know and she said well first of all thank you for building your home because it's giving my husband something to do every day which was hilarious and she goes and of course he thinks he's in charge of the job so of course yes and he's just this such a gentleman yes and I'm hoping that he takes the pictures and does something with them wouldn't that be great if he got them developed I talked to his daughter and she's like you I wouldn't be surprised because he will do this for people maybe he's gonna like develop the pictures or something and I'm gonna have like all the stages well what a kind man I don't know if he's gonna do this I don't know but probably doesn't even know you have a podcast but if you were listening I would I would really love that yeah (laughs) no we would really love to see yeah or at least you know we could take the pictures and turn it into we we have been doing we've been taking a lot of pictures but I think he's got a really good camera and he takes lots of photos well how wonderful isn't it I I mean I knew that he was taking pictures I didn't know how closely he was Mm -hmm. taking pictures yeah I it's exciting yeah I have a good friend Tracy and she took pictures of her neighbor's house as it was being built uh-huh. from her, the vantage point of her home. And when the people moved in, she gave it to them. Well, Tracy, wasn't that nice? Yes, that is nice. I wish she would have done that for my house. That'd be yeah, so that cool. Would be, uh, I guess there's no one directly across from us really to get. No, there isn't. But what a thoughtful idea. That is super thoughtful. So mm-hmm. if, if there's a um, you know, big life event happening in your vicinity maybe pull out a camera yeah (laughs) right it's like if if you're out we've seen people get engaged before and we've taken a picture yes and especially you like you've you've gotten footage before yes just at a wedding or whatever and then people are like wait can I have that from you yeah I'm like just turn your airdrop on here I'm 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 right trying to help everybody with their content yeah a win win for all of us yeah Yeah. so um but yeah as the house progression continues especially throughout the winter winter we will be sure to update you but Mm -hmm. it Mm -hmm. it, it looks beautiful so far and Mm -hmm. It's, it's good. Just a, it's a great ball of fun. Yeah. So I think that that is our show for. Can I add one other thing? Please. I'm not sure if we should mention it now, but um, Elizabeth was also helping. We were working on a new line. Yes, we are in the beginning stages of working on a new line. Mm-hmm. Actually, I feel like the line has somewhat been completed. It really kind of just came over us. And Elizabeth did have a big say in a lot of the products, mm-hmm. um, which was super helpful. So we're looking forward to releasing a new line Hopefully soon, when we have the exact date, we will be sure to let the podcast listeners know first. Yes. Um, But it is centered around the classics. So the signature bow and Mm -hmm. just everything being better with a bow and um, a lot of cozy pieces, I would say, for the winter. Mm -hmm. Good basics. So we're excited. Things that we would like to have and use. I'm really happy with the way that it kind of came together. And you two, sometimes when you're with me, when I get super close to it, I... You know, it's easy or to get bogged down by stuff, but I feel like you guys kind of well, took the it's, lead on this. It's a process. Yes. We've been brainstorming. We were brainstorming with Laura a little bit. Right. And then it just is, is kind of evolving. So I think it's... I'm excited. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Very fun. And uh, if there's anything else that you would like us to focus on for January, February, March, you know, we'll be here for the rest we of the winter. <laughs> um, and we have some time with our new time blocking. So right. we're really looking forward to just creating some more wonderful content in 2024 and continuing mm-hmm. this year together. Um, I'm very excited for what's to come. And thank you so much for joining us today. And you are so welcome. If there's anything specific you would like my mom to talk about moving <laughs> forward, reach out. Send us tippity type away. Because mom likes to talk. We, we both like to talk. And we are just happy that 
there are people out there giving us the opportunity. Yes. I hope you all have a wonderful week and thank you so much for listening to today's episode. And remember that everything is in fact better with a bow. Have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye now. <laughs>